and put on a great show and expose these people to a, to a bigger audience. And we've uh, done that at the Triple Door main stage. The Triple Door has two rooms. They have a lounge and a, and a main stage. Your daughter saw me in the lounge that night, but there is a big, huge main stage that's very uh, reminiscent of a Sinatra at the Sands kind of vibe. Um, mm-hmm. But that's what that's where the big gig is performed. And, um, and it was to expose everyone uh, to these artists that they wouldn't normally um, hear or see because they're not, because they're not famous yet, but they, but they're super talented. Um, and so a, a lot of them have become my friends and a few of them have been on, on, on my records. So anyway, that was, yes, uh, there was quite a, an eclectic group. Um, Josephine Howe, a uh, rhythm and blues, yeah. uh, soul singer. And, um, uh, Carrie Wicks, as you already mentioned, Aria Pram, she was there. Mama's Boys were there. Um, Harold yep. Gomez. And you, I, one thing I liked was that um, you had a little bit of Western African dancing uh, that was kind of thrown into the mix, and that was kind of cool. Yep. Um, you know, for that event. Now, is this something that is uh, going to continue to be done? Do you think it'll become yes, more like the- an annual event? Well, it, it, it has been an annual event. We've done it five or six times now, I think. Okay. Um, and the next one will be in March, on March 11th. Oh, um, of 2016. Version. Very 16, good. 2016. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Well, we'll and tell about, people about where the they dances, can. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, um, Billy. About those African dancers. So that was one year where we showcased uh, the African dancers or the African style dance. Um, but we've had different dancers. We've had tap dancers. I had, a t- uh, we've had tango dancers and we've had several different kinds of several comedians and uh, things like that. So it's sort of a variety show, but mainly the main part of the show is basically the vocal uh, performance um, in that jazzy bluesy kind of area. Um mm-hmm. Uh, but peppered with comedy and dance. So that's sort of the, the, the gist of the show. Very nice. Well, in, later on in the program, we'll share with everyone how they can find out more about that event that will come up in 2016. So um, <clears throat> what we'd like to do now is we're going to have everyone listen to a song. This is uh, Route 66. And um, and then when we after we hear the song, we're going to talk about that. Okay. So, okay. Tuned. Sounds good. that 
in with me Bringing her down She would never be free As long as I was around She's got a ticket to ride And this chick just don't care You go through St. Louis Joplin So for our listeners, <laughs> all Route 66, that was such a nice song. Wow. Really good job. Thank you very much. Can I say something about the title of that song? Yes, absolutely. I'm probably not saying it right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, obviously that song is a, uh, a, a mashup of uh, Miles Davis's All Blues and um, the the words to, and Route 66 by Nat King Cole, and also um, uh, Ticket to Ride by the Beatles. That's the other lyrics. So I mixed those three songs together. And uh, okay. when I when I when I sent the CD in, I for some reason had it in my head that it was Day Tripper from the Beatles. I just had that in my head, and the day that I went to print this thing. I put in, so I called the song, uh, trying to be clever, all Route 66 Day Tripper Blues, when it's really Ticket to Ride from the Beatles, not Day Tripper. So it actually has a um, the wrong title, if you will, but it's sort of stuck now. So um, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's a big great. mistake. Like I, That's a good I even story. Had a, yeah, it's like, I, and, and I didn't notice it till like, Several months after the CD came out, I was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. not day tripper, it's ticket to ride." <laughs> uh, so anyway, well, it, it still turned out great. And and for our listeners, we you know we're just giving you know everyone a, a preview and a sample of uh, Billy Brandt. But but you also, I mean, you got to work with Carrie Wicks on this. And um, before you get, I'm going to ask you to tell people about your experience working with her, but just for, as a reminder to listeners, Carrie Wicks, um, she was uh, nominated uh, by Earshot Jazz as Vocalist of the Year in 2012. Now, she's had two albums. Um, I'm I'm hearing rumors that a third may be coming, but I haven't seen that yet. But she writes very original Jazz influenced songs. Um, one of the ones that I like, and I'm sure you're already familiar, Billy, because you've worked with her so well, but um, Spider Rain and The Bottom of Your Heart is just amazing pieces of work. And I got, before, you, before you share your experiences, Billy, I just have to share with our listeners if you haven't had an opportunity. It's something definitely to listen to because you can hear even in the song that you just did with her that we just listened to, um, the Route 66 song. Carrie has a very different type of voice. It, it's truly unique, um, and it kind of it kind of really does kind of grow on you. And she just puts so much of herself into it that it really is surprising when you continue to listen to her in different songs. So, but I just wanted to put my two words in. I, you, you really picked a good artist to, to work with there on that song. So congratulations on that. It turned out really nice. It's always good when you surround yourself with good people. And yes, she's, she's, she's a good person and a great singer. And she does. She did release her third CD. Just uh, actually, it's not out yet. I'm going to her CD release um, the 29th of this month. Uh, is going to have oh, her very CD nice. will come out. Um, so oh, that is good. not a rumor. That is true. That is true. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, she, yeah, she's a great singer and fun to work with, and she's helped me in the big gig. And um, she has that, you know, um, when you see her on the street kind of thing, you wouldn't suspect that she's that soulful of a singer, you know, she's sort of like, Oh, okay. But when she does sing, she brings all that. It's like, so it's a very surprising kind of, Oh, she really can 
you know, she's sort of like, I, I kind of, it's almost like, a, I hope she takes this the right way when she listens to this. Uh, um, she's like a librarian that's like surprises you with this soulful voice, you know, because she seems to be at times like, oh, like shy and, and, and whatnot. But then she sings with this amazing soulfulness. So, yeah, she's good to work with, good person to work with. Yes. And she also. I, and uh, that is. Go ahead. Go ahead. She also no, works I was with. Just... Um... Is it me? No, they're, they're... go oh. ahead and finish, and then I have a comment I want to make also. Okay. Well, she uh, also works with Aria Prem, who you mentioned before, and on that new CD, they sing together, and um, uh, one track, and eventually, I think they're going to do a. Uh, an, they, they, their harmonies are great, and they're they're also the girls who are singing on "Baby Is Blue," the song you heard at the top of the hour, singing back up on my okay. track, and um, they their harmonies are great, so the they um, they work together well, and they're going to have a CD out as well as a as a duo. In the, in the near future as well. Very nice. Actually, that I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, Aria Prem and and um, uh, Carrie Wicks are both in Baby Is Blue, and they do they really do harmonize well. It's it's kind of yes. um, you know interesting because um, at first, the very first time I heard it, I thought it was one voice, and then. When I'm, I was like, no, 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 that is that is two different voices. So I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, um, and yes. you know, Aria Prem, she she's another jazz vocalist, and the one I like from her is Eclipse. Uh, very impressive, very impressive. I think I think it's the range that she goes to. Um, it, it's such a broad range, um, and you really get to hear. Um, uh, you know, one of one of the people who's playing the piano. I mean, they're they're using that full board, and and her voice goes right with it. So it's it's very yeah. impressive too. So so you you're very fortunate to have these ladies that you have connected with because they just have amazing voices. They really do. They they do, and they they they. Uh... They make me sound good, and and you know back to the big gig thing. Like once again, just there's a lot of talent out there, and um, and these girls are, are those people, and and just being around talented people such as them, and 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 others, it just rate rate rises raises all the boats. You know, it's a rising tide kind of thing. So yes, I'm surrounding myself with good people, and. And that's what the big gig's about, bringing in and showing more people these good, talented people. Yes. And I, I was yeah. the comment I was going to make, Billy, when you were talking about Carrie, you said kind of the librarian, and she comes out with a surprising voice. Um, I, you know, I've read some of her reviews, and somebody um, oftentimes people make a comment. It's not, you know, her voice is not something you're going to hear, like, um, uh, I don't even want to do a comparison, but... She just has such a unique style that you are literally compelled to sit there and listen to her because it's not something that you hear very often. It's not it's not right. that she, you know, has an operatic uh, type of voice or, you know, um this type of thing, but it's her style that is so unique and and like and when you said the librarian look when I first saw her I thought is she really jazz folk artist I mean because <laughs> you would never guess that never and yes you would guess librarian um you know um uh you know, degree in education or something. Yes, absolutely, you would get that. So it is surprising, yeah. you know, to see her. So I'm, I'm glad you brought that out. But it's also part of her charm, you know. Yes. Um, yes. So it's yeah, it's part of her charm. Yeah, so that's really nice. So I have to yeah, tell her, you. Her... Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You finish first. Uh, 